Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Ukasha, ID 3011. I participate in Virtual RoboCup Asia Pacific 2021, kategori Co-Space Autonomous Driving Car Challenge Under 19. Next, I will talk about my team. My team name is Generasi Juara from Indonesia. I participate in this Virtual RoboCup Asia Pacific as a single player in kategori Co-Space Autonomous Driving Car Challenge Under 19. This is my first time participate in robotic competition and this is my first virtual RoboCup challenge. In the past preliminary challenge, I participate in Cospace Autonomous Driving Car Challenge under 19 category. From that previous preliminary challenge, I investigated several problem. First, how to make robots smoothly follow the line. And the second, how plan the path efficiently so the robot can travel from start to finish as fast as possible. For the methods, I use PID control to line tracking, and I manually analyze the, the shortest path and on the map and using speed variation to maximize speed in certain segment of the map. For the result, my average score is 42 seconds and I achieve the best score of 41 seconds. In this section, we will analyze of Cospech Autonomous Driving Car Challenge. So the challenge mission is move the robots from start to end point. Robot need to stop at the edge orange waypoint and blink the light for 2 seconds before moving. The robot must pass through all 6 waypoints as fast as possible. We break down the mission into several mini tasks. First, how to make robot follow the line. Second, deciding most efficient path for to robot to travel and the last using speed variation for specific segment so that the robot can reach maximum speed on the strike road and remain stable in winding road there are two methods for line tracking the first is condition based control and the second is PID or proportional integral and derivative control in the condition based control We compare the sensor input from IR sensor con the condition required for certain wheel speed and execute the corresponding action. And for the PID, we, we employ the sensor input to continuously calculate the output. So, the, so that desired optimum position is reached. The flow chart condition best control is as follows. The disadvantage of this method is difficult to determine the, the right speed value for each sensor condition. The next method is PID control. In the PID control, we first we mapping the error value of the robot. Error value mean the distance between the robot's current position and optimum position. If the line is in the middle of the sensor array or in the sensor L1 and R1, Then the error is equal to zero, or we can call it optimum position. And if the line is on the left sensor, error become minus L1 error equal minus one, L1 and L2 error min equals minus two, and so on. On the contrary, if the line is on the right, then the error becomes a positive value. After we mapping error, we calculate PID value. For P or proportional, the equation is KP. Multiplied by error, p value mean rate of turning of the robot. If the error large, the turning become large too. For e or integral, the equation if k i multiplied by sum of all errors, sum shall be zero. Such positive right error cancel the negative left error. For d or derivative, the equa the equation is k d multiplied by error minus previous error. Derivative as are useful for anticipate the next error, thus mitigating the effects of a large p if cur current error has reduced significantly, and then we sum the p i and d to get the p i d output value, then pass it to speed value of the motor. The result of tracking. So here are two results. The first using condition based of at max speed 
without using PID. Second, robot max speed ID and using PID. As we see, if we use condition based, the robot does not run smoothly. And if using PID, the robot runs smooth, uh, smoothly and fast. Path planning is plan the fastest path of the robot from start to finish. For path planning, we have done it manually. First, we check position of every way station on the map. After that, we manually determine the order of the way station that we need to pass, which we think is the shortest distance from start to finish. The scenario, the scenario is look like in the picture. The advantage of this scenario is easy to make program statement because there's few junction and winding line, so the robot can easily reach maximum speed when running. In this mission, the path is categorized into several different segments and given a different best speed to maximize the strike path and stabilize the winding path. The implementation of speed variation seen in the following image. In the segment market rate, the robot runs at high speed because it's a long strike path. In the segment market blue, robot at mod robot run at moderate speed because there are few winding paths and it's as a long strike path too. In the segment market yellow, the robot run at low speed because because it's a winding path. Debugging. There are two problems that we encounter when debugging. First problem is instability of turning at junction. Second problem is the instability of line tracking. For the problem one, our first try, we using only duration of to turning the robot. As a result, the robot become unstable when turning even it can go out of the line. Our solution is using compass sensor to help specify Di the direction of the robot after turning so that the robot can turn at the perfect direction. To make the robot follow the line smoothly, we need to turn in the follow it of PID that is max, max speed cons and constant follow it that is KP, KE, and KD gradually. Start from low speed to high speed. The example can be seen in the following video. We start max speed 5t and gradually increase the speed and adjust the constant following to make robot follow the line smoothly and fast. Conclusion and further work. The result, I think the robot is already running well and is able to reach maximum speed for relatively strike paths. However, there is a still problem if the robot does not run well after junction and causing very high oscillation when following the line. For the future improvement, we can use acceleration speed after turning, so the robot gradually increase to the top speed instead of immediate, immediately run at top speed after turning. Learning experience. Using cost-based robots, I can become more familiar, familiar with the world of robotics and I can also create PID simulation in cost-based robot. In this cost-based robot challenge, I got experience to coding simulation robot and experience for virtual challenge. The most important thing that I want to share to the others to don't be afraid of challenge, keep learning and have fun. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.